friends welcome back to heavens to betsy i'm betsy and today i'm going to talk a little bit more about those 19 bags of vintage clothing that i was going through and tell you a little bit more about that crazy huge hoarder house um estate that i bought all the vintage clothing from so stick around if you want to see um, more and hear more about that Let's talk a little bit more about this hoarder house that I was in. You have seen the videos. I had 19 videos that I put out on me going through the vintage clothing, um, the hodgepodge of vintage clothing from this hoarder house estate that I was lucky enough to get into. Um, this is an epic, epic uh, like vintage clothing um, find for me. Um, I just have to say that this is probably the second time in my life that I've actually been able to buy so much vintage clothing out of an estate in bulk like this. And this is definitely the biggest haul that I've ever um, bought from an estate. So let's talk a little bit quick about how I found the connection to this estate. And that was just Facebook Marketplace. I, I go on, I look just like everybody else out there. You have to always be looking and sourcing and trying to find your next place to source vintage clothing from if you're a vintage clothing reseller. It wasn't um, <laughs> the most um, straightforward ad. It took me a couple of days before I, I responded to the ad and I asked for a little bit more clarification. And once I got a little bit more clarification on the ad, I went ahead and sent an email and just said, yes, I'd like to come over. And he took me to the back room where all the clothing was. And I looked through the clothing. I just kind of sourced through it. And I was like, okay. He said, um, how about we do this, whatever clothing wise is in this room and what clothing wise in that room. And we'll do it like a box buy. He gave me the price. And I said, yes, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Um, I knew when I did it that there would be things that I would be picking out from the two rooms that I could not resell, that are just not resellable. But I knew that the majority of the things that I were going, I was going to be bagging up, I would be able to resell. I consider myself very fortunate and lucky that I just was at the right place at the right time and was given this opportunity to go in and do such a huge bulk buy. I have about 800 pieces roughly that I have cleaned and processed and have started sorting through and started listing online for reselling. I am a reseller, I am a vintage collector, and I'm also a vintage reseller. And you can see that one of my biggest obstacles or hurdles to get over it was storage. Where am I going to store all this? I work in a really small space. I <laughs> have my studio space above our two-car garage. And it's a really small space. I am a small time reseller of vintage clothing and modern labels and that sort of stuff. So this was the biggest vintage haul that I've ever gotten. And, you know, the opportunity was there. So I couldn't say no to the opportunity. And even though I don't have the space for it, I'm going to figure it out because you just don't say no to the opportunity to buy such a complete massive wardrobe of original vintage pieces. So I just was like, heck yeah, I'll figure out where I'm going to put everything after I get it home. And my husband's just like, <laughs> But my husband is great. He built me um, from plumbing fixtures. He built me a two tier clothing rack on wheels. So I have one of these built so far. So I put up, you know, sweaters and blouses and some skirts on these. These are full already. I He's going to build me one more because I still have tons of things that need to be up. And I have two long racks for the longer clothes to hang on. So those are filled and those are behind the camera. He's going to build me another uh, long rack on wheels out of plumbing fixtures so I could have another rack. I'm going to need another rack. I have some totes set up for like vintage sweaters. I'm going to show you a video. I'll show you a video of where I put everything when I came, <laughs> when I came back from my hauls. I'm just giving you a quick look of what I really have left that I have not started to process yet. 
in this box and that large tote is all relatively newer things. And by newer, I mean 2000-ish Y2K. I tried to like put a label on the outside of the bags. This one is like miscellaneous 70s. A lot of polyester things in there. I mean, these are things we've gone through already. Um, this is 90s in there. Um, some 90s in here. Vintage coats. I haven't really started to tackle the vintage coats. This is a tote that's full of vintage sweaters. I have two bags of coats. I didn't show any of the coats. I have three bags here of donations. This container is just filled with all the slips. I've been making a mess. This is just filled with slips that we went through. It's also filled with underwear, bras, long line bras. So yeah, so this is kind of my staging area. Yeah, I guess you can say this is reality. This is definitely reality. This is what it's what it's looking like. You know, I have um, 19 videos out of some of the bags that I went through um, showcasing vintage clothing. It's It was a mix of different eras and uh, different styles in there, but I didn't show all the bags. And the reason why I didn't show all the bags that I got from the haul is because it, it, there was a nice mix of um, newer, I'm gonna say newer clothing, and I'm not saying newer as in like two years ago, I would say probably, you know, 2010, Walmart, your grandmother wearing those soft knit cotton like attached tops. Some of them had condition issues, and I knew right away that these were some things that I just didn't wanna show. I didn't think there'd be an interest to see. But in all reality, because it's not all like perfect things that you find, and I did buy everything in bulk, and I knew that I was going to have clothing like that. I just didn't think I needed to show all of that on, you know, my videos. I did get a phone call um, the other week. Um, there is more vintage clothing in the house, and so I... Um, we'll be going back to pick up more vintage clothing. Actually, was back the other night and picked up four metal um, under the bed suitcases that was used for storing things. He found them under the bed. I did a video of me opening up the one um, case because I had vintage clothing in. So I'm going to um, splice this in right here. Went back over to my estate buyout house and picked up these three metal under the bed cases. So let's take a look and see what's in them. All right, before the rain comes, let's see what's in this one. Oh, nice. All right, looks like we have a 70s knit top. Cute little pullover. This is, ooh, a Jordash terry cloth top. Um, just a little pullover. A 70s made in Brazil. It is a nylon. Yep, 100% nylon. Little pullover top. Wow, check this out. So part knit, part acrylic polyester. It's got a jungle theme. So probably 70s or 60s. It's got a back zipper on it. Another little polyester, or nope, nylon 70s top, late 60s, 70s top. Really cool skirt. Look at those colors. And it's still new with tags. Some sort of knit baby outfit. And a little knit baby top. Um, just looks like um, knit kind of thermal top. 
uh, vintage knit sweater vest. Uh, 1960s, 1970s polyester pants. Cool little faux pocket there. And nice wide leg on the bottom. A little knit 70s sweater. Looks like just a little jacket, like a linen jacket. A little ribbed, probably 60s, 70s top. Another pair of pants with wide bottom legs. Uh, it looks like some sort of skirt that needs to be hemmed. <gasps> Check out that. Cool hats. It's the first time seeing hats. So a little knit hat, like a beret with a little palm on the end. Ooh, that one's cute. Little knit beret. Oh, this, this is, look at that one. Kind of reminds me of like a prairie style Holly Hobby hat in red. Very late 60s, 70s. Also in pink, like a little bucket knit pink hat. That's cute. This is a hat with a scarf attached. Look at that. This one has a tag in it. It is a cocoa knit made in Taiwan. Look at that fun one. Fun little hat. I think that one might have been handmade. A fun little scarf. Another scarf. Another scarf. I'm not sure what that is, but it's something. A little baby hat. Ooh, what is this? I'm not sure what this is. little palms on it and fringe and one in orange that was a fun container and yes this awesome jungle half knit late 60s top came out of um, <laughs> that metal container storage container from under the bed so I am still finding really cool gems like this out of this house. I'm so excited to see what else is in the house. I'm going to just talk a little bit about Catherine, who is the, um, the woman whose estate clothing I bought. Um, Catherine is 94 and she lives in a senior living facility. She liked to shop, as you can see. It's pretty epic. Um, how much she liked to shop. I think as you watch me go through those 19 bags of various vintage clothing, it um, I'm completely blown away by the fact that there's a lot of things with the original tags on them. There's a lot of duplicate items. There were things in perfect condition without tags that it doesn't look like she ever wore them. I don't think she ever actually enjoyed wearing them. It just amazes me the amount that one woman had in her collection and the fact that she kept it all these years. It amazes me that Catherine um, was able to amass such a huge collection in such a small house that she lived in. They had a daughter who passed away when she was 22 in 1972. I don't think I have completely hit upon all her all his sister's clothing at this point i think that they're probably upstairs in the attic still in boxes but they were they were not donated he said his mother did not donate anything she kept everything she was not one of those people that donated to the church bazaar for their annual um, summer yard sales to raise money for church 
Um, I just want to thank you for subscribing and watching because I think that's really awesome that I get to share um, this time capsule wardrobe with um, people. I think some people think it's really interesting. I think it's very, very interesting and I love um, getting to know families and getting to know the history behind um, people's families and their clothing and how they acquired so much of it, I find really fascinating. I hope you stay tuned for um, what else is gonna be coming out of this house. I think it's gonna be interesting. So stick around and I'm looking forward to sharing some more videos with you from um, Catherine's collection. Thanks for watching and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.